Francis, it's after midnight. Give up this fool's game. Golf doesn't give a man what he needs to feed his family. You learn a trade, and you bring home an honest wage. He was born with nothing except a dream. There must be a way for somebody who's not a member to compete. You're a caddy. Golf is a game for gentlemen. It's not for your kind. He was given no opportunities except the ones he made. Those men don't have to earn a place in this world. It's given to them. We're not those kind of people. But sometimes, it takes an outsider... You shot a 71 on the toughest golf course in New England. ...to change the rules. We're holding the U.S. Open Championship in two weeks. Your name came up. I can't accept. My father needs me to work. Awfully young to be giving up on your dreams, aren't you, son? From Walt Disney Pictures... Meet me here. Sign up. You got a lot of work to do. The studio that brought you Remember the Titans, The Rookie, and Miracle. This just isn't the sort of thing that caddies do. All I want is a chance. There's a lot of talk about the great English champion sailing over here to play in our Open. We all know Harry Varden. I'm the best. And I'll thank you to remember that. Mr. Matt, I can caddy for you. My bag is as big as you are. I can carry that bag. All right, you can caddy for me. What's that? A pig man? You got a problem? It seems impossible that this untested boy could hope to beat one seasoned champion. He was a long shot. Oh, my gosh. That's President Taft. How you doing there, Mr. President? But he saw the game in ways no one could imagine. He has a God-given talent. He's just trying to make you proud. The man's a peasant. Peasants do not win opens. If Mr. Weemut wins tomorrow, it's because he's the best. Not because of who his father was, not because of how much money he's got. Because of who he is! The greatest game ever played.